having a child in college uh, was tough, but uh, in comparison to of the years when my father had a heart attack. Those were probably the most stressful years of my life. That's what gets me through any difficult day. People always say, you know, you look kind of zen. I'm like, I've been through a lot. I was born and raised in the Philippines, and I have a very nurturing father. In fact, teddy bear dad. And my mom was the tiger mom pretty aggressive, pretty assertive. My mom was always excited about starting new businesses, everything from uh, mangoes to duck farms to rice mills to um, processing sugar and always studying how to run businesses in an efficient way. What was interesting growing up, I think, in an Asian family is that we had designated professions. I had an older brother that was supposed to be a doctor, a sister that was supposed to be a dentist, I was supposed to be a lawyer. Even though my parents were entrepreneurs, there was just this expectation that being a professional was more acceptable. There just weren't many undergrads getting pregnant. I, it felt a little odd to be on campus. At that point, I started becoming more insecure about the perception of being a young mom and could I make it? The judgments around, um, was I ambitious enough? But I think those difficulties actually gave me even more confidence, realizing that perceptions isn't really what matters, it's sort of what's in here. I had a mentor once say to me, are you in the pain business or the pleasure business? Because I was contemplating joining sort of a hot mobile entertainment company. And I realized I like helping people solve problems, difficult ones. And it's very gratifying to know that you're making a meaningful difference in people's lives. sort of four or five years old, we juggled quite a bit. And um, I didn't really have family in the area and my husband's parents were deceased. I begged my parents to come from the Philippines to take care of our little guy. And within a few months, my father was walking up the stairs and fell backwards because he had gotten a heart attack. And so that was really difficult. When you've got a child that you're worried about, whether they're being cared for well, and you've got a father at home struggling to just live. Those are the kinds of things that are, are just true pain points for families that I realize there's gotta be a better solution. I'm one of the few very first companies in the internet space that's female founded that is funded but it was a challenge trying to communicate to often male partners to invest in a business supporting predominantly women. I was really surprised at our IPO closing dinner uh, and I had invited our, our children and there was an open mic and my 22 year old uh, grabbed the microphone and he spoke up and he just said, I'm gonna remember what you do every day for people and helping them in their lives. And here I am in front of bankers, my accountants and lawyers, I just gushed and I normally wouldn't. I felt like um, my son understood the sacrifices I made, what I was doing in my life. And hopefully I've imparted in some way how he will respect the women in his life beyond me. <laughs>